Yo, what the f is going on, you beautiful people, and welcome to another video with your boy Kenshi. And if you watched the first video of my little story, then you know what's going to happen, but if you don't, then I would recommend to go back and to watch part one of my story. But in case you are a lazy ass potato like me, then just continue watching the video. Last time I told you about how I began playing the game, like that I started playing at the end of 2008, that my first clan was Randori's, an all weapon mode clan, that back in the day we played only sword in rooms with passwords, that I then was pursued by my future clan leader Elano and formed a team with him called Crystal Swordfighters, where Neon, Redlist, Boindle, Ayumi, Bladebuster, Xmatics and Richie were members. Okay, that was kind of the last thing that I mentioned, so let's continue with the story. Wait, there's still something missing. Hey yo Steven, where my music at? Sorry boss! After I left CSF and decided to give the lead to Redlist, I stayed clownless for a while and tried to get some more information about current active teams. I mean, like I told you last time, I really loved the atmosphere in CSF and that's what actually encouraged me to search for other people with the same mindset and after some time passed, I thought that I found the right team. The team that I'm talking about was FCG, alias Fun Clan Gamer, and not Fun Clan Gaming, like I said at the end of my last video. As far as I can remember, this team was actually more of a community with different sections that represented different games, but most of the people that were in FCG were Counter Strike players anyway. I think. <laughs> Wait, let me check if they still exist. Fun Clan Gamer. What? They still exist? <laughs> That's kinda awesome, man. I mean, I still know how I thought that their website was really professional back then. <laughs> the first thing that I did was going onto their TeamSpeak 3 server and asked for help regarding joining their team. At the time, I met Moxie first, who was their, I think, community leader or something. And Moxie asked who I was and I told him that I wanted to join their S4 team. After that statement, he then filled me into what FCG was about and everything and I think he didn't even know that they even had had in this voice section at the time because they were really small. That was also the reason why it was so hard to find something out about their S4 section because they just had about 4 or 5 people that were even playing this game. Those people were the following ones. Two-Face, Mark, X Black Sheep, and they also were two more but I can't really remember their names anymore. I know, I'm sorry but it's just too much time has passed so that I could remember everybody. So I joined FCG and Two-Face, Mark and me were literally playing the shit out of us for. It was pretty fun playing with them but we were never really able to play 5-on-5 five five or 6-on-6 six six because the other two players were mostly playing World of Warcraft and we kinda always had to persuade them to play with us. But there was one specific match that I can still remember because that was the first beast mode I ever experienced. So it was station 2 and the score was 2-7 against us. We played 5-on-5 five five against I think it was Shark 90's team and I still know that our opponents were all pre-mates and that they at the time were kind of famous and pretty strong too. The first half I was playing with Aspisco because I wasn't taking this game seriously at the beginning because I thought that this would be an easy win for us but it didn't turn out that way and Two-Face was really really mad when the first half ended. Then at the half time I switched to HP skill and tried to motivate my team but it didn't help and when we finally hit the score of 2-7 I thought okay dude we need 6 TDs in order to take back the lead but I think we can't trust our team this time. And that was the first time when I f went full beast mode. I mean seriously I was totally in the zone and didn't really play with the team but more like did my own thing in the game. I mean, I was outplaying the opposing team at the stairs, I was picking up the ball perfectly at long way. I camped at their base, knocked everyone into their death and distracted them. It was like... Uh, I honestly can't describe the feeling, but it felt really really awesome. I think the zone from the anime Kuro Kono Basket would be a very good comparison to this one. <laughs> 
I just remember that I scored six TDs in a row and another one once they scored one too. And after that win, we went nuts in team speak and my team was praising me for my performance. I'm telling you this specific match because it's a memory that comes to my mind immediately when I think about my past four experience. This specific situation that I was finding myself in has burned itself deeply into my head. I mean, I also don't want to say that FCG were bad players or anything or that I didn't trust their skill. It was simply more like at the time I was trying to do everything to win and one option was not to ignore my team but to play to my full potential I guess. Don't think that I had an attitude towards my team or that I didn't think highly of my team. That definitely wasn't the case and I still think that they were and also hope that they still are great personalities. So if you who was watching this were one of my old FCG teammates then please know that I am grateful for the time we spent together destroying other people. <laughs> Sadly, once again this team also became inactive after a while and for example Two-Face had a lot of work related things to do and then quit. The other two people uh, who never really played as far stopped completely and Mark I think devoted himself to WoW at the time and also had some real life stuff that he needed to take care of. X Black Sheep stayed for yeah kind of for one more week after I left but then also decided to leave the community. I think I stayed there for about three months when I finally decided to leave but it was an experience I would always do again if I was given the opportunity one more time. But with this era also ends this video. I thought that I could maybe get into the beginning of Asian clan but I guess the video will be too long and I don't want you to get bored so Asian clan will be in the next one. So yeah guys, I know some of you have also experienced quite a lot while playing as far and if you want to tell your stories then please tell them. I'm more than curious about them so let me know. Bye yo. So that's it for this video. Will I see you next time? Hopefully, because I'll be there. So have a great day, everyone. See you next time. I'm out. Peace.